Hello, welcome to the Grace Kid Podcast. Thanks so much for joining us this week. Um, we have a super fun episode ready for you. But first, I have two special guests back again uh, who are going to be joining us and helping us tell this week's story. But first, they're going to introduce themselves for a second time. Hi, my name's Kenley. I'm <laughs> in fifth grade and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Kennedy, I'm seven, I'm in second grade. And today, we um, have a story for you, but first, we have to start with our question of the day. So, Kennedy, what is our question of the day? What's the last thing you ate? All right, whoever you're listening to this with, ask them the question, and we'll be right back with our answers. Jesus is calling, open your eyes, no need to fear now, cause he's on your side, just let go, and you'll find that he is everything you need, what are you waiting for, what, 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 what are you waiting for, what, 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 what are you waiting for, what, 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 what are you waiting for, and we are back, so. Kinley, what was the last thing you ate? <laughs> a Reese's. Yeah, because Jordan gave it to you. In the hall. Yeah. All right, what about you, Kennedy? A Hershey bar. A Hershey bar? What, what, what kind was it? Was it just plain chocolate? Yeah. Uh, there was nuts in it. Oh, uh, yeah. The almond one, yeah. The last thing I ate was a uh, shrimp enchilada and queso. It's really good. I got it across the street. Okay, well, our question for today has nothing to do with the story, but our story um, comes from John 11. And if you're following in the one story calendar, today's story is in day 295. So uh, let's get into it. So this is what it says. Uh, There's a man named Lazarus. So we have four people in our story. We have Lazarus. Who else? Jesus. 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 And then we have... Mary and Martha. That's right. And Lazarus, he was sick. He said he was really sick. He lived in a place called Bethany with his sisters, Mary and Martha. So Jesus, and then you have these three siblings, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. How many siblings do you have? Two. Two. Do you have a sister and a... A sister and a sister. Oh, a sister and a sister? <laughs> Two. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's pretty close to this story. So Mary, uh, who later poured the expensive perfume at the Lord's feet, uh, it was her brother, Lazarus, that was sick. And so they sent someone out to go tell Jesus, hey, uh, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. And so when, he, when Jesus heard about this, he was with, like, disciples. And so they're like, yo, it... Uh, uh, Jesus says, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Now, if you if you were to say, like, hey, uh, someone fell asleep, what would you think? They were what? Sleeping. sleeping. Sleeping, of course. And so the disciples are like, Lord, if he's sleeping, he'll get better soon. If he's sick, have you ever been sick before? And you're like, I just want to take a nap and lay down. Or yeah. like, I want to sleep it off. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. Yeah, same. They're like, oh, just let him sleep and he'll get better. And they thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, but Jesus meant Lazarus had died. And so he tells him, Lazarus is dead. And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there for you will really believe. And so he's like, let's go uh, to see him. So they go on this journey. And when they get there, uh, there were many people with Mary and Martha. Like they were obviously like heartbroken. Their brother had died. Like that was It was a huge weight that they were carrying because they were sad. And so people were with them. They're maybe crying with them and whatnot. But uh, Martha gets word that Jesus is coming. And so she goes out to meet him. And so she gets out there and she's kind of excited. She's like, Lord, uh, she's actually, she's not excited. She's upset still. 
And But she says, Lord, if only you had been there, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask. And so Jesus tells her, your brother will rise again. And Martha, she'd been following Jesus in his teachings. And so she knows that uh, Jesus had been talking about like, the kingdom of God coming and that we are going to be reunited with God. Uh, But uh, so she says, yes, he will rise when everyone else rises at that day. And Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this? So she says, yes, I always have. I know you're the Messiah, the son of God, the one who come, uh, who comes into the world. Uh, from God. And so she goes, Martha goes back and gets Mary. And so Mary, uh, as soon as hears, hears this from Martha, she leaves. And everyone thinks that because she's still upset, she's going to go to Lazarus's tomb. That was a lot. That's a hard word. Lazarus's. Can you guys say that? Lazarus's. La- okay. You can do that. Maybe it's just hard for me. So they go all the way out there and Mary, uh, when she sees Jesus, she falls at his feet. And it's, it says the same thing. Martha did, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. And so it says, when Jesus saw her weeping and saw other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him, and he was deeply troubled. And so he asked, where have you put him? And they told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. Have you ever heard in the Bible that Jesus had like human emotion? Right here it says that Jesus wept. He actually cried. He's like you and me. Have you ever cried before? Yeah. Yeah, I have to. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. And so they get all the way there. And uh, some of the people, they're like, look, see how much he loved him? But some said, uh, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he, have, couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? They're like, he could do other things. Couldn't he have done that? He should have come earlier. But I think God was trying to show them something really crazy. So they get to the tomb. And Jesus tells them, roll aside the like the stone. But Martha, the dead man's sister, protested. And it's like, Lord, it has been four days. The smell would be terrible. Could you imagine that? The smell of like something rotting or like your dirty socks that we were talking about. It smelled really bad. But Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled aside the stone. Then Jesus looked to heaven and he pretty much like prayed out loud. He's like, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me. But I said it out loud for the sake of all these other people standing here, so they will believe you have sent me. Then Jesus shouted. Do you remember what he shouted? Lazarus! Lazarus, come come out. out! Yeah, let's do it again. Lazarus, Lazarus come, come out! And the dead man came out, and his hands and feet were bound and graves closed, and his face was wrapped with a head cloth. And Jesus told him, unwrap him and let him go he was alive he was alive he had been dead for four days now he was alive so what does this story tell us about who jesus is or what he can do he can do miracles yeah he can do miracles what else if you pray he he he'll answer yeah you have something kennedy did she say what you were going to say yeah yeah, Jesus can do miracles, and God listens to our prayers, and he answers them. And I think it's really cool that that even in this book, that it says that Jesus wept, because it reminds me, Jesus wasn't just God, and he didn't, like, he, did, he had emotions. He was happy, he was angry, he was sad, and that's just like you and me. It reminds me that Jesus goes through stuff that we go through. You know, like, he, he made friends, he had maybe challenges with other people not being nice to him. He had all these things, and so he was human. And so, to wrap up this this week's episode, what is a challenge we could give our listeners? Um, you guys can do cartwheel well, well cartwheels well, praying <laughs> out loud. That is an intense challenge. Do you think you could do that? <laughs> I um, can, maybe. Can, maybe. I mean, if it's a challenge, I'm gonna try it. I'll try. <laughs> okay. it. Yeah. So do? maybe do a cartwheel and pray out loud. But something else is, uh, another challenge is believe God to do something big that you may not even believe is possible. Like when Mary and Martha went and Jesus is saying like, uh, pretty much like, I'm going to raise Lazarus from the dead. They almost were like, what? That's crazy. But 
God did it. And so God can do things way bigger than what we could ever imagine. So with that, that's your challenge. Do a cartwheel and pray out loud. And uh, we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye. Bye. See you later. Can you do a cartwheel? We'll see for you. If you would like more resources regarding the One Story Plan, go to visitgracechurch.com backslash one story. And if you'd like more resources for your kids, you can go to visitgracechurch.com backslash kids. We also have a YouTube channel, and you can find it by searching Visit Grace Kids on YouTube. If you like this podcast, we would love for you to like, subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. We'll see you soon.